I want to show you a quick and easy project using the X tool. I have a friend who said they wanted to make little tags that had the names of each family member on them. And I said, hey, I could do that with engraving and my X tool. So she said that would be great. So here's everybody's name. I literally just went to text and typed in the name in this text box. It was a little weird and took some time for me to get used to typing over here in this text box. I kept wanting to go to the actual text and double click on it to type. Then you go down here to pick out your font. I'm using Dancing Script. I really love it because it's just this nice fancy flourish of a script. So you can see when I first type it in, those letters are hollow. And that's because the processing type is listed as score. So if I did this right now, it's just good. Do a little score line. That's the outline of the name. That's not what I want. I want it to engrave this name. So I'm going to click on the engrave button. And now you can see what I'm telling the X tool to do is go back and forth so that you're filling in that font. I want to click back to score real quick just to show you. Right here where the letters touch each other, if I leave it like this, it's going to do those little lines where the letters are overlapping. Now, since I'm engraving the whole thing, that's going to kind of get lost in the engraving part. But if you click weld, do you see how those lines go away? So now it's just the outline. The letters are connected. So now this is going to be a cleaner engrave. So this piece was just for an example to show you how easy it is to do something like a name. So I am just going to delete that because I don't need it for this project. Next up, I want to show you how you get everything ready to engrave on the specific tags you're using. So I am going to turn on my machine. And when I do that, you can actually see the base plate that is on the bottom of the machine. And you can see the tags that I've already lined up and placed into the machine. This part is kind of hard to see. There's a little red dot. The machine uses this to measure the thickness of items. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. So now I get to show you the part I really love about using the X tool. When I click this refresh button, it's capturing the image of what it sees on that bottom plate. And then I can click on these to move them on top of each thing. So before we go any further, let's take a look at the settings over here. This first one says laser flat, which is what I'm using. The base plate is in, I have the lid closed. I could click right here and have the X tool auto measure the thickness of these uh, tags. And it would be measuring off of the one I placed over here because that was the one that was under the red light. But because this came from the X tool bundle, I know it's the preset um, setting for this wood tag here. And see how that kind of shifted my zoom? So now I can start to take each of these names and line them up on a different tag. Now, I don't want this one name to be a ton smaller than the other ones. So I'm gonna do a big window around everything to select them and resize this one, resize them all down to make sure that this one that's longer gets on a full tag. Now that I have things resized down, I can move them so they're back on top of the tags. I love that you can see the item 
that you're going to engrave onto so you can really position things exactly where you want them. So I feel like this one's kind of crooked, the tag. So I'm actually going to go back to the machine and adjust things. So since I adjusted the tags, I'm going to refresh just so it kind of resets and recaptures everything. Now I can once again adjust the names. And I just want to show you what would happen if I did the auto measure. Oh, there, auto measure succeeded. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. This one name is not really all the way on the tag. So I am going to once again size everything down because otherwise this one name would be proportionally a lot smaller than the others. I can't remember if I welded these or not, so I'm going to go through and weld them all. And you can see because it is a predefined item, it already did the right power and speed setting for me. So I'm ready to go. I could click the framing. And what that's going to do is kind of show me with a light inside the machine where each wording is going to land. It, it's basically going to say an outline. But you know what? I think I'm pretty good. So I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's click the process button. And now it's processed everything and it's ready to go. So I'm going to click start. And now it's telling me to just click that button on the front of the X tool, which you're not going to see because it'll be out of frame, but then everything will start engraving. I have my camera on a stand and it's looking down into the X tool. And I literally just use these little tags that came with my bundle. If you are going to get an X tool, I highly recommend getting the bundle because then you're going to get a bunch of these little tags to play with and you can test different settings and really get comfortable with your machine and not worry about investing in materials just to start testing the different settings. When I turn on my X tool, I want to point out that little red dot. That's that measuring dot that we were talking about a little bit ago. So make sure that one of your items is exactly underneath that dot. Now the piece I'm placing right now isn't one that I'm engraving, but it's the exact same item as the ones I am engraving. So I'm not worried about, you know, a, a thickness differential. Now it's time to close the lid and press the button on the front of the machine to start the engraving process. I have my X tool in front of a window. So I was getting a little bit of glare coming through the blinds. So you will see the reflection of a board that we were holding behind the X tool to try to reduce that glare. I'd like having it by the window because then I can just pop open the window to vent it. The bad part is when I'm filming, that glare is kind of annoying. So eventually I'm looking for a better setup place, but for now this will do. Now you can see that the machine just keeps going back and forth, back and forth, and it's engraving the names on each tag. As it comes forward, it gets harder to see the results. So I might trim this video down so that we just get to the end results. Pass forward in time, and now the bar that holds the laser has moved so far forward, I can actually see the results on the ver 
very first tag that I engraved. Some people have asked me how loud the machine is. It's really not that loud. There's a soft hum from it. Once the machine is done, you can just open up the lid and there's your finished engraved wooden tags. This was a super great and fun beginner project. And I think these tags turned out so beautiful. So what do you want to make with your X tool? Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.